We don't kill the living. Shut up. Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is uh, my review for Season 7, Episode 14, Inside of the Other Side. We'll get right into this. Episode starts out. Uh, Maggie uh, regards the bustling hilltop community. She gives residents knife-throwing lessons in preparation for work as the saviors. <clears throat> she and Jesus work on plans for the future of the community. Gradually, the people at the hilltop begin to look at her as a, as a leader. Meanwhile, Sasha sharpens a blade and draws floor plans of the sanctuary. In Jesus' trailer, Maggie falls asleep while working at the kitchen table. Enid sees as Jesus hands Sasha his map of Negan's compound. Maggie sees Daryl sitting alone outside the trailer despondent. She brings him a plate of food and briefly comforts him with a hand on the shoulder before heading back inside. From his office window, Gregory suspiciously watches a group of Hilltop residents congregate in the courtyard. He downs a drink. Rosita arrives at the Hilltop and tells Sasha that she needs to help killing Negan. Maggie apologizes to Jesus for taking over his trailer. Having grown up in a group home, it doesn't bother him. With Maggie and Sasha and Enid, he feels close to people for the first time. Maggie leaves to speak with the blacksmith about making spears so they can trade with the kingdom for body armor. Jesus begs Sasha to delay her mission until more people can join her, but Sasha refuses. Enid warns that she's going to tell Maggie what's going on, but she'll give Sasha a 10-minute head start. Outside, a guard sounds an alarm. The saviors are coming. Enid runs over to Daryl to ask him to help hide Maggie. Sasha packs up her bag and takes Rosita to a secret escape hatch that passes beneath the per perimeter wall. Maggie realizes she doesn't have enough time to make it to the escape hatch herself. Enid guides her and Daryl to the cellar to hide. Gregory, Gregory greets the saviors in the foyer. Simon tells Gregory that Negan wants one of the Hilltop's residents. Daryl looks out of the cellar. Maggie calls him over to a hiding place in the dark shadows of the cellar. Sasha and Rosita escape through the woods on foot. Rosita tries to hotwire a car, but to no avail. She notices Sasha's necklace and gruffly points out that she made it for Abraham. As the two continue to look for a ride, Rosita rebuffs Sasha's attempt to, to make small talk. Sasha suggests they hole up at a building near the sanctuary and shoot Negan from a distance. She, she's sure she won't miss him. Rosita argues that they should ins instead enter the compound and kill Negan on sight to ensure a success. At the hilltop, a savior walks towards the cell cellar doors. Enid tries to distract him, but he proceeds to enter the cellar. Daryl's face fills with rage as he and Maggie watch him from the hi their hiding spot. In the medical trailer, Simon tells Dr. Carson that they need his services at the sanctuary. Dr. Carson correctly guesses that his brother, the sanctuary's former doctor, was killed. In exchange for checking Dr. Carson, Simon gives Gregory a crate of aspirin. Gregory pulls Simon aside and assures him that he's an ally to Negan. He explains that he needs to hold on to their, his people's trust, otherwise someone less cooperative could take over. He hints that he might eventually need Negan's help and quelling insurgents within the community. Simon gives Gregory a handwritten note that will grant him entry to, into the sanctuary should he ever need to seek their help. Uh, the Savior searches the cellar. Daryl readies his knife to attack, but Maggie holds him back. The Savior leaves with some supplies and shuts the door. Once he's gone, Maggie remarks that Daryl nearly killed a Savior unnecessarily. Sensing Daryl's fury at the Savior, she tells him that she too wanted to kill, but that it would only have detracted from the bigger goal of winning the war. Daryl apologizes to Maggie for his role in Glenn, Glenn's death. Maggie says it wasn't uh, Daryl's fault, and he's not to blame. Glenn knew that Daryl was good, she tells him. The hilltop residents gather at the gate and watch the saviors leave with Dr. Carson. Gregory, sensing their disappointment, shifts around uncomfortably. At in an abandoned car lot, Rosita lights a car on fire to distract walkers. She and Sasha climb the fence into the lot, and Rosita hotwires a car. They drive off to the sanctuary. Sasha and Rosita situate themselves in an empty building near the sanctuary. Sasha observes the walker yard through her rifle scope and sees Eugene monitoring the area and giving orders. She relays the information to Rosita, who is convinced Eugene must be playing some kind of angle. 
As they wait for Negan to emerge, Rosita opens up to Sasha about where she learned all her skills. She learned about bombs, cars, knots, etc. from men she dated. They wanted to protect her. Rosita tells Sasha, but she always ended up surpassing their skills. But she continues that that wasn't how things were with Abraham, who saw her as she was. She admits that she wasted her time hating Sasha and wishes she could have had a chance to tell Abraham that she was happy for him. Sasha looks through the rifle scope again and sees the truck arrive at Dr. Carson. Negan finally walks into the courtyard, but the savior surrounding him prevents Sasha from getting a clear shot before he goes back inside. They hear Eugene on the walkie-talkie, ordering saviors to help beef up defense security. There's a change in plans as Sasha and Rosita decide to enter the compound. Back at the hilltop, Gregory summons Jesus into his office and hands him job assignments for the newcomers. Jesus accuses Gregory of splitting up groups to protect himself. Gregory warns Jesus against talking back to him. Gregory says he realized they're no longer friends. Daryl asks Jesus where Sasha and Rosita are. That night, Eugene discusses security protocol with a savior in the courtyard. Rosita and Sasha kill the savior and cut through the fence. They urge Eugene to come with him, with them and escape, but Eugene refuses. He tells them to go away and he heads back inside. Rosita curses at Eugene in sincere disappointment. At Sasha's suggestion, Rosita keeps watch as Sasha slips through the fence. She uses the lock to close the uh, opening behind her, locking Rosita out. Despite Rosita's protest, Sasha tells her to, that Alexandra still needs her and breaks into the sanctuary to kill Negan herself, killing another savior in the process. Rosita sobs in frustration and flees when she hears a savior when she hears saviors approaching and gunfire breaking out. She stops and notices a dark figure with a crossbow watching her in the in the shadows. This is how the episode comes to an end. Alright guys, that was a quick review rundown of uh, episode 14 of season 7 of The Walking Dead. Entitled The Other Side. Uh, thanks for checking this out as always. Like, comment, and most importantly subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Welcome to Woodburn. Yeah.